my name is Gabriel Garcia. And online we have our CEO and founder, Bruno, and also Angel. And he is an investor on California. So just a quick disclaimer, this is this presentation is just for educational purposes. And everything that's going to be presented here is either a past deal or something that we're not currently working on. So we're in full compliance with SEC regulations. And a little bit of background about public investments. Um, it's, it's going to be an apartment complex investment company. And Cornerstone Investing has been doing fix and flips as well as wholesaling deals for about 20 or 30 years. Thank you. 
percent they attended, and these numbers are going to change depending on the apartment complex that we select. It can go up to fifteen or twenty percent, um, and this compared to a, a three-year CD rate with about a twenty-five thousand dollar investment, you're you're about you can get two thousand nine hundred and twenty-two dollars of interest if you were to invest in a, in a CD with a three percent or three point seven percent compared to what we would give you uh, annually would be 9%, which is almost three times as much as a CD. You will you now now the stock market the in January to be in 2004 to 2006. Uh, it was a 60% growth in the Dow. Our program would be 27%. So that's the difference between us and the stock market. So our team has more than 40 years of real estate experience, over 125 transactions, and our 2017 goals are to find, acquire, and manage large apartment complexes, increase the value if we can, and then sell or refinance in one to five years, or when we get 40% of, of the return. So whichever happens first, that's when we'll, that's when our exit strategy will kick in, and we'll, we'll either sell the, the complex or refinance and, and keep it. So. I spoke about emerging markets earlier, and this is the way that an emerging market is found. So we have to see that um, a stable industry is coming in, and the way that we do this is we contact the economic development companies in that city and ask to see what large businesses are moving in, if there's any service industries that are going to start creating jobs for, for people. So an emerging market, it's basically new jobs being created and a population growth. So whenever we see something like that in a, in a city, we're going to be doing a lot more research in that city compared to other non-emerging market cities. And so this provides a high potential of renters because there's going to be more people that are going to need somewhere to live uh, versus homeowners. So wherever there's this ratio of more renters and homeowners, that's where we, we want to be at. And it also has to be an efficient lifestyle Thank you. 
statements to our investors, and every Monday we're going to get uh, what's called a Monday morning report of how the property is doing. And then at the end of the, the one to five years, over 40% interest uh, return from the property, we're going to sell it or refinance. And so here are a couple of case studies, and there's nothing on here because I haven't added, but this is one of the markets that we're right now, excuse me, it's Arizona. And one of the deals that, that we had underwritten and thought would be a good deal at the beginning was this was a real place. It was 23 units in Phoenix. They were asking 1.7 million for it. And we were gonna provide a down payment of 20%, which ended up being about 340,000. The thing that I liked about this deal was the credit was, so Maricopa County is the number one fast growing county in the United States. So it's very close to an international airport, so there's always going to be people looking at, at this deal. And it, there's a lot of major highways you nearby, so a lot of people are going to the come in into the conference. Uh, so and the matter of credit here, you're going to have a birth of, of a 12% cash on cash return, 1.6 debt to coverage ratio, the banks look for 1.2. So we want to be safe uh, with 1.6. Well, it's an 8%, more than an 8% cap rate. And I, I believe most of the hope from Phoenix, Arizona had like a 6% cap rate, so we were way ahead of them. But then I went into the um, the actual uh, financials of the property and found out there was a rate credit deal. So we didn't, we didn't follow it. And then KE Texas is another market that we were looking at. And we found this. Uh, it's a way harder deal than the other one. It was 240 units. And they're asking 21.9 million for it. And the cool thing about it is that it had an assumable HUD loan. Small bid was a sponsor that could assume that loan. Um, and another really cool thing about it was it, it had six acres of vacant land that we could either develop and you know, put another 100 units on, or we could just sell it to a developer and they could do whatever they wanted with it. Um, it was an eight glass property, so it's, it's high maintenance. And it was across from the central. Texas College, so a lot of college kids can rent the property, and it was also in front of uh, the biggest military camp in the United States, and it also meant our, our investment criteria of all this from cash on cash return, 1.6 DCR and 8% cap rate. But we sent a letter of intent and they let us know that this had sold, so we were kind of late on this deal also, but these are deals that, that we've been looking at. And we're constantly looking at too. Those are deals that we've done as, as a fix and flip company. So one of our sponsors or some investing in this, these are some of the deals that that we have done with, with Alex. And that's it. I don't know how to end it. I mean, it's it's like anything. But that's pretty much the whole presentation. <coughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna um... I'm going to keep recording for for a little bit. Uh, I I, um, I I think that um, I you know you got into the money in the beginning. I th I think it would have been. Let's see, I'm getting feedback. I don't know why. Maybe I have the sound too high. Um, I I I I think it would have. Let me lower it. Is that? I don't get as much feedback. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, you're muted by the host. Okay. Um, 